Hello everyone and welcome back to week 27 of my contrave journey. So I'm gonna just get right into it. First and foremost, <laughs> I have COVID. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that either. Uh, second time, but the first time I didn't have any symptoms. So this time I have symptoms, or I should say I had symptoms last week. Uh, so I know it either had to have been when I went to the Broadway play or when I went to my friend's family's house for dinner. So either way, by Tuesday afternoon is when I first started to feel it last week. And by Wednesday, I barely could get out of bed. <laughs> I was so fatigued. I, I have never been that fatigued in my life. I think the last time I was fatigued like that was when I got the COVID shot. <laughs> the first time I got the COVID shot, I was really fatigued for one day. And then after that, like around five o'clock, it went away, which was so weird. It was just so abrupt. But with this COVID, I think I was pretty much like dying from fatigue <laughs> up until like Friday. And that's when I could get around a little bit to get something to eat and then go sit down <laughs> that that was it my whole life um last week pretty much was being sitting in the recliner and i love my recliner but i just i would have rathered it without COVID. i'm glad i was off from work because if i wasn't i would have been like oh boy <laughs> but nevertheless i'm fine everything is fine i am not a hundred percent but i'm probably around 90 percent now have a slight cough sometimes uh still clearing my lungs a little bit but other than that i'm okay haven't gone back to exercising yet because i want to make sure that my lungs are at 100 percent before i start back exercising again and the good thing is <laughs> i haven't had to worry about my appetite because when i tell you i had zero appetite last week zero it may have been like negative 20 actually forget zero that's not low enough it, it was low <laughs> so i actually i'm just going to give you the weigh in now because um i take my weight loss any way i can get it i lost 0.8 pounds last week which comes to a total a grand total since you people always want to know of 15.2 pounds lost i am now at 183.2 which made me very happy <laughs> to to weigh in a, a few days ago i was quite happy i was just like i'll take it whichever way i can get it and it's kind of weird now because now i'm about to head into the 70s and that's exciting for me because it's putting me back where i want it to be <coughs> excuse me my goal was 170 pounds and it still is 170 pounds so we're talking about 13 pounds here, which is not bad. 13 pounds left is nothing compared to 25 pounds left. I remember being there, you know, so it's just really fascinating that really it won't take me much more time to get to the point where I won't have to be on contrave anymore. And that's something I want to talk to you all about because I've thought about that too. I've thought about the point where at what point should I get off contrave? Like, should I get off only when I'm finished totally losing everything that I want to lose? Or can I stop it at like the 180 mark? So I'll have 10 pounds left and see if I can do it myself without the contrave. Because now I'm not sure if the contrave is working, like how it works for a lot of people. I don't even know if I feel like it's working for me at this point. I know that I have definitely cut back on what I have been eating and the bad stuff has really been disappearing. Um, which brings me to, I think I told you last week I stopped eating bacon. And so now the other thing that I have stopped since I had COVID was coffee. So now I drink tea in the morning. I don't drink coffee anymore. And I'm still shocked by that. Will I stop drinking coffee totally forever? Probably not, but I don't need it every day. And, you know, as I said a few weeks ago, I really did not want to experience the 
headache that goes with the withdrawal. But since I had a headache that went with the COVID, I figured, well, no better time than now to get off coffee. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was um, that was good. So two things down. Um, definitely been eating more fruit and I love red grapefruit. So this is that time of year and I've been killing some red grapefruits. So I'm like, you cannot tell me I'm not getting any fiber or vitamin C. So that's a good thing. And as I said, I don't know if the COVID is messing with my taste buds or whatever. I just, I still don't have much of an appetite. I have to make myself eat because I know I need to eat. I know my protein isn't where it should be, um, but I'm okay. And especially since I'm not working out, I'm not too worried about my protein being higher right now. My focus is mainly on getting back to 100% and getting this COVID out of my system. So you know what I want you all to let me know is let me know what you think about me stopping Contrave or maybe even this is what I thought about doing even starting a after Contrave series like life after Contrave and keeping the weight off because that'll be the real test you know it's kind of easy right now with being on Contrave to continue to lose the weight like I said I'm not sure how much it's helping me but i'm curious like if i get off of it will i continue to be able to lose weight with the changes that i'm already making in my life so let me know what you think about that give me your opinion in the, in the comments below and let me know what you think about that about me coming off possibly coming off contrave and just doing it myself for the last 10 pounds or should I just stay on it till the 170? So let me know what you all think. I'm still seesawing on that. So I'm going to put it in your hands and you just let me know what you think. Okay, so I think that's all for today. I'm going to keep it short because as I said, I'm not at my best today and I'm still working. <coughs> and as you see, the cough comes ever so often. But um, I just want to let you know that um, it's 2024 now and as I said last week, I'm really looking forward to 2024. I feel like there's a lot coming down the pipeline and I'm very happy to be heading steadfast towards my weight loss goal. And I hope that you all are heading towards your weight loss goal as well. And that in the last 27 weeks that you have learned something from me or gotten something from my videos because I have enjoyed creating them and it has made me very consistent on YouTube, which is amazing and excellent. And I would like to continue that. So let me know what you think. And I will talk to you next week, week 28. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.